that. The biggest problem I had at first was trying to decide where I wanted to work with. All I knew was that I wanted a new experience, but I wasn't sure if I should go with special education, high school, or something like first graders or kindergarten. Ultimately, I decided to work with Synthla, probably because there were so many options at that one school alone. At first, I thought about working with their art, science, or ESL teachers. But in the end, I decided on just staying with first grade. I was nervous about what it would be like, and I wasn't sure what my responsibilities would be. But as I soon found out, it was already planned out for me, so I had nothing to worry about. When I came in, I would help with two different subjects each day. Reading and math. When it came to reading, I would work with a student one-on-one. -on -one help them by catching their mistakes and to figure out how to pronounce the words. Math is what I would help with after reading. Sometimes for math I would help individually and sometimes I would help with whole groups. There were a few different ways that I would help them with math. One way is with flashcard problems where they would tell me the answers. Another way was with math races where they would try to answer as many problems as they could before the hourglass ran out. And the last way was by playing Math Candyland, which was their favorite. One thing I've learned is how important for first graders' practice is for reading and math. They practice math together at the board with the teacher while she reviews how to do addition and subtraction. After that, she has them practice it on their worksheets by themselves or with her. Then they do speed math facts, where they try to do as many problems in a minute as they can. Sometimes they also work on harder stuff to improve their skills. The smallest things are really big for them when it comes to math. For example, the transition from working with double digit numbers to triple digit numbers in the hundreds. When she announced that they'd be practicing this, which is what second graders do, everyone said wow out loud. It also seems to be important to prepare them for second grade. Not just getting them well practiced with their first grade skills. The teacher makes an effort now at the end of the year to teach them second grade skills. This is so they'll have an easier time getting started when they enter the second grade. So far, I've only seen her do that with transitioning them into adding and subtracting triple digit numbers. I assume I'll see other ways though, such as reading larger books, bigger words, and longer sentences. It seems like a good idea for every grade to make preparations for their students to enter the next grade level. And when I get back in the classroom to continue my service learning and I'm excited to see what other ways she'll be helping them transition. Being consistent is also important and that's both in terms of learning and behavior. I can see the fruits of this with her class because even though some struggle everyone can read and do math. For the people that struggle the most she makes sure to work on their specific weaknesses as much as she can. She is also consistent with their expectations of their behavior. When she sees someone breaking one of the classroom rules, she has them move the equivalent of a behavior card down a rank for the day. Her whole classroom is pretty well behaved because of this, and that's good to see. When they're in the hallway or in the classroom, she expects them to be behaving. They're only first graders, and yet they don't act wildly, constantly. They still need to work on how they work with each other in group work because they start turning either selfish or tyrannical when given the chance or left to govern themselves. Seeing all of these experiences has been eye-opening for me because I haven't really worked with first graders before or anyone this young. That's the first thing I enjoy about this experience. The second is all of the kids being super excited to see me each time I come in. All of them waving at me and saying, Mr. Pwingle, Mr. Pwingle, they all want to be the ones that get to work with me or in my group. The last thing I really enjoy is listening to them casually talk. It's really interesting listening to their point of view and what they consider important. It's not the kind of thing I get to see in my everyday life. And that's been my presentation. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Thank you.